All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking real music in real time for a few real people out there just like you and just like me. So I'm going to be talking about Nikki Six and the FBI. Could be a crime show. I don't know. But uh, it's disturbing, okay? it's We're living in some stupid times, all right? Even if you're not a fan of Motley Crue, or Nikki Six. Um, this story is uh, very disturbing. Uh, before I get to the disturbing part of the video, we've got the fun, brand new music part of the video. Here is Streetlight and their album Ignition. Holy crap, Batman, this could be in my top five for the year. I'm a big fan of this, and uh, you should be too. Um, what does it sound like? Well, it's uh, very 80s, <clears throat> very 80s-esque, all right? Easy for me not to say correctly. Very 80s-esque, um, but it goes from pop to rock to classic rock. Um, another band, by the way, from Sweden. Here's what they look like again, if you missed that. Um, these boys know how to write and play great songs. And uh, this came out, I don't know, June-ish maybe? june or july um the years go by really fast you know and uh there's a lot of great music out there and i pledge in 2024 i'm going to continue to bring you the latest and greatest from the melodic rock world and i'm going to try to do it with a smile on my face and uh i'm hopefully not going to offend people during that portion of the video so you know if you don't like the rest of the video then uh just watch the first part, and uh, maybe you can help out the channel. I'll talk about that at the end. Right now, it's Nikki Six and the FBI. Uh, some weird stuff going on. Uh, he confirms, by the way, uh, the FBI is now involved in the case about his family. Uh, I don't know if you heard about this, but uh, Nikki Six has recently received uh, threats that included not only him, but his wife and child. Um, now, look, I don't want to compare this to something that happened to yours truly about five years ago, six years ago. But when you start to get threatened by someone, which did happen to me, and um, my wife wasn't a target, but she was uh, definitely um, in there as far as uh, what this guy was talking about, and uh, also my children, um, once you get to that, and look, I'm just some lame dude who's doing videos. I'm the first to admit, all right? One guy out there calls me a clown. Every chance he, he gets, he calls me a clown. So there you go, I'm a clown. I might need to get a hat, right, or a nose. Although I already have the clown nose, so I guess all I need is uh, some makeup. Um, and then I can be Gene Simmons. Holy crap, Batman. I can just do all things, right? Um, <laughs> so anyway, let me get back to Nikki Six. Um, so he and his family have received threats. Uh, in a few recent updates that he shared, he confirmed that the FBI has been involved, and uh, these are inexcusable threats. Um, Federal prosecutors in case one and the FBI in case two have opened up investigation and three court dates coming, uh, including in December. So somebody is in some big trouble. It sounds like they found out who it was. After a user supported the rocker with their words by stating how it was a shame, he has to put time and energy for someone else's actions, uh, Nikki Six replied, I need to and will go to any length to protect my family. What they have been through is inexcusable. Uh, earlier, Nikki Six shared that he and his family faced threats and were stalked by a stalker, more specifically, a woman from Tennessee whom he and his family never met. According to his statement, she targeted his wife and his child with threats of death and bodily harm. He made it clear this was not the first time he had been going through problems with stalkers. In his earlier post shared on Instagram, the bassist said that the FBI was looking into the stalker. 
In the rest of the statement, he shared the the rocker. I keep calling him the rocker, but he is Nikki Six. Also wrote that there was a second stalker from a different part of the country. <laughs> the threats that included his wife and children were, in his words, beyond alarming. So there you go. Um, Nikki Six uh, tweeting out on December 20th that uh, federal prosecutors in case one and the FBI in case two have opened investigations. Three court dates coming up, including one in December. <laughs> this is just crazy. It's absolutely just insane. And the world itself, as we know, has gone completely off the rails. And so anyway, uh, I'm not comparing this to the little thing that happened to me, but people sometimes want to know why I don't interact more. Why don't I allow people to just say stupid stuff about me um, so more people can say more stupid stuff about me? And look, uh, I'd like to have the time to um, police all the commentary and so forth. I just, I don't. And uh, I know that is, uh, for some folks, uh, they would rather go somewhere else where they can shoot off their mouth. And I understand that. I get it. But um, this channel is not a democracy. This is a dictatorship. So um, I'm sorry. It's just the way it's going to be. That's why I have Patreon for a dollar a month or two bucks a month, five bucks a month, a thousand dollars a month if you want to support this channel and you've got deep pockets and you're a rock star, for instance, and you want to give your money to a worthy cause, I will defend your right to be a rock star. I will defend you if the government is on your case, if the medical establishment is on your back, I am here for you. I'm like the only one doing it this way. And yes, I do talk about music on the channel. Uh, but anyway, if you just want to give a dollar a month, also for YouTube memberships, a uh, good way to support the channel and uh, keep this thing going. And again, uh, our thoughts and our prayers go out to Nikki Six. Again, he's not necessarily my uh, favorite musician, but he is a decent musician. Uh, certainly Motley Crue is not my favorite band, but, you know, so long as everybody just keeps their mouth shut in Mot Motley Crue and they're not doing all of that debauchery and weird satanic stuff that they get involved with, um, I could care less, you know, but if that's all an act, um, then just say it is, you know, if you go back to the roots of that band, it's, it's not pretty. Some of the stuff that they were into, maybe they've grown out of it, but certain people like the drummer doesn't appear. He's grown out of anything. Looks like he's ramping up his efforts to be kind of a perv out there, but, uh, maybe that's why you've got all this weird stalking. So, uh, you might want to just play it safe and be a little bit more, um, I don't know, conservative in the way you present yourselves out there on the road. I think people want to hear the music more than anything else. And with Vince Neil on vocals, how much time really? I know there's new stuff in the pipeline. Bob Rock says it's the best Motley Crue you've ever heard. And I'll be fair when they release it. I'll tell you what. I truly think of it. What I truly think of this is it's great. Streetlight, Ignition, go grab yourself a copy of this. At least give it a listen. Uh, if you like melodic rock with pop tendencies, but also with classic rock infused tendencies, then uh, this might be your ticket. If not, it's okay. I've got more. I'll be featuring uh other bands as uh, we wind up 2023 and i'll be ramping up my efforts also for patrons i'm gonna try to post a song each day uh that you might be interested in listening to so another reason to join patreon for a dollar a month also you need to be in the holiday giving spirit i've got some of the best patrons uh probably on youtube or anywhere for that matter very loyal folks that do a lot of heavy lifting uh, when the YouTube algorithm goes the other direction and my videos are going down. The patrons uh, definitely show up and they're all great. And uh, we have conversations frequently. And I want to thank everybody from the bottom of my heart. Also, please 
Uh, pray for peace, folks. Yeah, pray for peace in the Middle East and around the world. And uh, as I've been saying recently, uh, don't let your heart be troubled. Don't be afraid. Pray for peace in your own heart uh, as we wind up a very tumultuous 2023. And I'm thinking 2024 is going to be even worse. So, uh, you know, gird up your loins. <laughs> and if you don't have loins to gird, then uh, I don't know. Just pray a lot. That's all I could say. Thanks for being here. God bless everyone and see you soon.